Hello. Hi. 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 Yes, I'm glad to be here with us. Are you glad? Yes. yes. We want to learn more about Jesus, isn't it? Yes. Can we say more, more about Jesus? More, more about Jesus. More, more about Jesus. More, more about Jesus. Yes, we want to learn more about Jesus, Jesus. isn't it? Yes. And we are? Church, Church of, of the Nazarene, Nazarene Nairobi, Nairobi Central Children Ministries. And we have some children back at home and everyone else back at home, isn't it? Yes. yes. What are we telling them? Welcome. Welcome. Come and join us in this wonderful lesson we are learning today. And today's lesson is a wonderful one, isn't it? Yes. yes. It's about food. food. It's about food. Yes, we all love eating, isn't it? Yes. yes. And what is our lesson today? God, God gives us food. Isn't it? Yes. And it comes from the book of Exodus, Exodus chapter, chapter 16, verse, verse 1 to 15. 15. Isn't it? Yes. And when we talk of Exodus chapter 16, verse 1 to 15, we are talking about the Israelites, isn't it? Yes. They were in Egypt. They were in slavery and they used to do a lot of work. They were they had to do a lot of forced work. They didn't have enough to eat. They didn't have good places to sleep and they cried to God. They cried to God. They cried to God so that they could be free. And God sent them a leader and this leader was called Moses. Moses. What was the name of the leader? Moses. Moses. So he was called Moses, isn't it? Yes. So Moses went to Egypt and he made sure through God's help all the children of Israelite were out of Egypt. Egypt. Can we pack our clothes? We want to leave Egypt. Pack all your clothes. Hilda, pack all your clothes. We, want to all, we all want to leave Egypt, isn't it? Have you finished packing? Yes. 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 So now we are ready to go to Kana, now we want to start our journey. Can we do our journey? Yes, so that is what happened. The Israelites walked and walked and walked. walked. And now they were in a desert, isn't it? Yes. So in a desert, can you find food in a desert? No. no. Can you find water in a desert? No. no. It's not easy. You will really have to search and search for you to find water and food. Mm. So all the food the Israelites had packed. They had, all, they, had, they had all finished all the food, isn't it? Yes. And now they were hungry. They were all hungry. hungry. The children were hungry. hungry. The fathers were hungry. hungry. The mothers were hungry. hungry. And they went to their leader, Moses, and told Moses. What did they tell Moses? That they were hungry. What did they tell Moses? That, that they, they were hungry. hungry. Yes, they told Moses we are hungry. Our children are hungry. hungry. We are all hungry. hungry. And Moses turned back to God. He turned back to God. God. And he prayed. He told God, it is you who sent me to go and deliver your people from Egypt. And now we don't have anything to eat. Please God provide something for your people too. Eat. And do you know what happened? No. Do you know what happened? No. no. So I want you to close your eyes for you to know what happened. All of us, just close your eyes. Just close your eyes. Close your eyes and we want to know what happened. happened. Continue closing your eyes. Just close your eyes. Close your eyes. We just want to know what happened. Isn't it? Yes. Are you still closing your eyes? Yes. Still closing your eyes? Yes. Now, can you open your eyes? Can you open your eyes? Yes. Can you look at your desk? Yes. What can you see? You can see something, isn't it? Yes. So that is what God did. When the Israelite slept at night, they had nothing to eat. God sent meat. He did what? Meat. He sent, sent meat, meat, isn't it? Yes. Yes, meat in a form of a type of a bird called quails, isn't it? Yes. So can we flap our wings like how the quails descended on earth? Can we descend down on earth? Yes. So all the quails were down. And the Israelites came picking the quails, isn't it? Can we pick our quails? 
pick your quails, pick them, pick them, pick them. Yes, that is what the Israelite did. And they went in the house. Can you now cook your quails? So they cooked all their quails and they eat very sweet meat, isn't it? Yes. Yes, yes. isn't it? Yes. yes. Yes, just like you closed your eyes and you find a biscuit, a pack of biscuit on your desk, that is what happened. The Israelite did not know God was sending them meat. They just went outside and found meat. meat. Isn't it? Yes. yes. Isn't it? Yes. yes. Yeah, that is what happened. And then the following morning, they didn't have anything for breakfast. Isn't it? Yes. But God is faithful. Say God is faithful. God is faithful. So he provided breakfast for them. Isn't it? Yes. In, a, in which form? Form of bread. Yes. And this bread was called what? Mana. It was called? Mana. Mana. Bread from heaven was called? Mana. Mana. Isn't it? Yes. Yes. Yeah, so they also went outside. When they looked down, it was all white, covered with bread. And the bread was called? Mana. Mana. So they picked all the bread, enough for each family. Isn't it? Yes. And went and eat. Isn't it? Yes. So just like us, when we closed, the, we closed our eyes... We found the biscuit on our desk. So the Israelite, they, they were not expecting any food from God. But all of a sudden, a miracle happened. They got the food, which was meat and bread. bread. So what does that show us? If we trust in God, he will provide our needs, isn't it? Yes. Anything you want, just trust in God, God isn't it? Yes. And God will give to you, isn't it? God yeah. will give to you. God will give to you, isn't it? Yes. God loves our parents so much, isn't it? Yes. He provides with, for them. What do our parents do to get food? Yes? They go to work. They go to work and then what happens? They, find, they found money. They find money and then? They buy for us food. They buy for us food, isn't it? Yes. And when we place food on our table, are we to say, hooray, time to party? Or what are we supposed to say? Yes? To pray. We are supposed to pray. Can you pray for our, let's, let's say this is our lunch. Can you pray for our lunch? Yes. Yes, please pray for our lunch. Oh God, thank you for giving us lunch. We thank you for giving us food. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Yes, you're supposed to say thank you to God for each and every little thing he gives you, isn't it? Yes. It is God who enables our parents to get the food we eat, isn't it? Yes. It is God who enables them to buy us things like what? Yes? Clothes. Clothes. What else do parents buy for us? Hmm? Food. What else do parents buy for us? Shoes. Shoes. What else? Vegetables and fruits, isn't it? Yes. yes. So we should always thank God for the food he gives us, isn't it? Yes. yes. We do have a very wonderful memory verse, right? Yes. And can you remember the memory verse? Yes. yes. Can we all say it together? First, First Timothy, Timothy chapter, chapter 6, 6 verse 17. It, it says, God, God gives us all things to enjoy. enjoy. And for the things, we say things such as what? Things such as was, what has God given us, yes? Life. Life. Parents. This world. This world we can enjoy. What has God given to you? Parents, isn't it? And even brothers and sisters. sisters. So we can enjoy life with them, play with them, help them when they are sick, isn't it? Yes. Yes, yes. so we thank God for giving us such a wonderful parents, giving us food, giving us wonderful things in our lives, yes. isn't it? Yes. Can we say a thank you song to God? Yes. yes. Can we sing a thank you song to God? Yes. 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 So it goes like this. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, we thank Jesus for giving us everything. Giving us parents, giving us food, giving us wonderful animals. Like which one? 
Yes? A dog. A dog, yes. They help keep our, our compound self. Giving us animals like which one? Cow. What does cow give to us? Milk. Milk, isn't it? Giving yes. us sweet animals like which one? Which we can eat meat. Like which one? Pork from the pig, isn't it? Yes. Yes, so we thank Jesus for giving us all things so that we can enjoy. Can we re re recite the memory verse again? First Timothy chapter 6 verse 17. It says, God gives us all things to enjoy. And we are enjoying, isn't it? Yes. We are enjoying, enjoy, isn't it? Yes. So let's pray. Dear loving God, thank you for the wonderful lesson. Thank you for reminding us that you've given us all things in life to enjoy. Help us make good use of what you've given to us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, isn't it? Yes. What are we telling our viewers at home? Bye. Bye.